directions and see who your kids run after. Round one. Round two. <laughs> Round three. Opposite directions and see who your kids run after. Round one. Round two. <laughs> Round three. <clears throat> yeah, Shalom. Kahala Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim. Recha Hagadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who grew well, who taught me this truth. No respect and salutations to the fellow Akim, the house of David, the hopeful elect. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Barakatham to you, Akim, as well as the sincere Akwa that are listening and learning. This is your brother Yahweh Shah from the Birmingham branch coming to you again with this 100% truth, this doctrine, right? And uh, this lesson, well, you've seen the video, all right? Even the little um, babe know, you know, who to run to. You see, we're going to start off in Isaiah 13. Let's go jump to verse 12. All right. It says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Now, Ophir is the, the top creme de la creme of gold, all right, 99.9999, if not 100%, in this case, the 144, right, y'all by Shem Yaw Shai, it's going to make a man more precious than that, and, you know, our women, they love jewels, you know, even the kids love the tinkling things, right, and you've seen in that video, the spirit of the Lord that child continued to run to her father. Now you have this movement of, you know, and it, it's been a movement of this, um, these lesbians, all right? These hardcore butchers out here, man. They think they can, you know, cover you. Matter of fact, <laughs> let's go ahead and get that. Isaiah 32. They think they'll be able to, you know, stop the, 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 the wows of, what's about to take place and it's, it's about to become very very heavy and they're not going to be able to you understand this is uh isaiah 32 and through two so like it two it says that a man shall be as in hiding place from the wind a cover from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land something that you cling on to Something that you desire, something that you very yearn for, right? Rivers of water in a dry place. This place is very dry. You women, all right, going to find out very soon, along with the children, that the man, all right, is the prize. Not only the man, but the man of the Lord. Lord willing, we endure to the end. We can... Uh, be those men, those 144,000 that the scripture speaks of, you see? But ultimately, we're making Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, our refuge, you see? Therefore, by default, we're going to fall under that banner of being protected and having to protect. This is Psalms 146 and verse 5. Happy is he that hath the most high of Jacob for his help, you see? So you wonder why we we grinning, you know, skinning and grinning, throwing out lessons daily, all right, being sincere, being humble. You wonder why we have this type of glow about ourselves, all right, whose hope is in the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, his power, you see that? So happy are us, man, all right, and again. If we continue to endure, you know, the Lord will grant us that. That being the uh, precious and finer than the golden wedge of Ophir. 
And again, you seen a little girl, man. Three times did she run to her father. That third time they tried to switch it up on her. 22 second video, very simple, but it's very spiritual. You see, as a little child, as a little infant, they have the understanding that a man is a protection. All right? He's strong. All right? He's, he, he's uh, you know, he has a voice about himself. I know when I was coming up, my father had a, had a voice, man, that, that trembled the damn house. You know? This is Psalm 32, verse 7. It says, Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. Salah. This is a heavy scripture because as reading it, you'll have to understand where is that hiding place. Well, within the scriptures. Within this all right, rock that we have built our foundation on. You see? And if you haven't built it on that solid rock, which is Yahweh Shai, then of course you're not going to be protected. You're not going to be able to withstand the wind, the tempest, the storm, the hail that is going to come up on our nation, meaning the nation of Israel. You see, this is Psalm 31 and verse 2. <clears throat> Bow down thine ear to me, deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock. You see that? For an house of defense to save me. You understand? And we're going to need it soon. We're going to need that defense soon. You see? As this diabolical Edomite is coming up with all types of ways to pretty much seduce you and to get you to be uh, jabbed up. You understand? Verse 3 tells you, For thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for thy name's sake, lead me. You see, therefore, for thy name's sake. What's the name? If thou can tell. All right? And what? Guide me. You see, it's a righteous thing to make the rock, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, your fortress. You see? He's our refuge, man. The righteous runneth into it. All right, and his name is a strong tower. That name will lead you to everlasting life. Okay? Judge me what I say. Judge it. And you if you don't think so. All right? We're not coming here with no damn gimmicks, man. We're coming here letting you know the whole truth. This is Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 11. And it says, For the Lord spake thus to me with a strong hand, and instructed me that I should not walk in the way of this people, saying, Say ye not a confederacy to all them to whom this people shall say a confederacy? Neither fear ye their fear, nor be afraid. And this wherewith we shouldn't be afraid. Because there's something to be afraid of out there. And why is the scripture is reiterating do not be afraid. Afraid. Do not fear. Let's continue. It says, sanctify the Lord of hosts himself. Let's sanctify Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai himself. And let him be your fear. See, that's the man <laughs> we need to fear. It says, and let him be your dread. And he better. You know? He better be your dread. Why not? He is the protection of Israel. He is the savior of Jacob. He is the redeemer of our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And just by that little video, that little babe running into that man, how much more we should run to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. You see? Because again, that man is not only us, but also is Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Through the spirit, okay, that we endure, we will get those rewards. We will be a hiding place, okay? We will be the protection, you know? Let's get that. <clears throat> uh, since it failed here, let's go to that. 
Matter of fact, let's go to the book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 13. And we'll wrap it up in verse 17. It says, this was done in the break of day. It says, this was done in the break of the day. Because the protection of the Lord did help him. You see that? <laughs> hey, y'all, by Shem, y'all shy don't work on our time, man. We on his time. All right? He's the one we should run to. When that break of day, let's get a precept to go with that. Hey, when it comes, you're going to know when it comes. You're going to know what, what type of trouble you're in. You're going to know that running into your how about Hashem Yahushai was the best thing, the best move, the best investment you ever made. You understand? So as little babes running into their fathers. You see? Sirach 34 and 16. For the eyes of the Lord are upon them that love him. He is their mighty protection and strong stay. A defense from heat. Woo! The missiles are coming. The missiles are coming. <laughs> you know? We like little, you know, uh, not such a tasteful uh, example, but little Paul Revere's around here. What Paul Revere said, we all read it in fourth and fifth grade. The British are coming, the British are coming. But we're telling you the British are coming still. The sword is coming still. The missiles are coming still. And to avoid that, you see, to be secluded from that danger is to run to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. It says, and a cover from the sun at noon. See, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Now you get to understand the second Maccabees 13 and verse 17. Let's read that again. This was done in the break of day. Uh-oh. <laughs> this was done in the break of day. See, at high noon, as they say. So it's going to break forth. You see? And that's the coming of our Lord and Savior. How about Shem Yahweh Shai? Let's start from the top again. So Rock 34 and 16. For the eyes of the Lord are upon them that love him. He is their mighty protection and strong state. Look there. Hey, go Google mighty. It says a defense from heat and a cover from the sun at noon. This was done in the break of day. A preservation from stumbling. Whoa. So we haven't brought up on these, uh, these scriptures, uh, these sayings, these epistles. This is not of our own strength. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has preserved certain men to not stumble. Can you believe that? It says, and and help from Falling. Man, 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 man. You see? A mother may nurture. A mother may give love. But in a time of trouble, you're going to want somebody on your side that can put up that defense, that can put up a protection, that can preserve you, that can be a defense from heat, you know, a cover, a refuge. That's your how about Shem Yahweh Shah. Lord willing, this is edifying and confident. On to the next one. Shalom.